Well, good afternoon, everybody. And the chickens thought I had something, so they all ran over here. Linda Ray, Texas Girls Farm. So um, today I have been working in the greenhouse. So remember, in that container is my liquid go. Chicken manure and water, aged. Everybody's out <clears throat> kind of relaxing. Mama and baby is over there. He's been out playing. Charlotte is in the far side doing her thing. But um, I've come out. Oh, and I just remembered I got to water. I transplanted some onions there. And I've got to water this. I've got some other stuff that I planted here the other day. But um, what I've been working on is in here in the greenhouse. And I've got a lot of tomato plants coming on. And I got all these stacked up ready to dump to uh, get a new pot and soil so I can start seeds. Transplanted some broccoli and spinach that I'd already planted into bigger pots. More tomatoes, flowers, and y'all know those. Um, calendria and dahlias or something. I can't remember, zinnia or something. But I transplanted the pomegranate tree. So we'll see how that does. And then I transplanted some more tomato plants and some onions there. And that's the broccoli, cabbage, and spinach doing really well. But what I really wanted to show y'all, because I haven't really showed y'all, is these. And these are the cuttings that I got from um, the Texas boys. They're harvest in a box. Um, and if you can see over there, or ordered some of the Haas premium seed starting. That's why I haven't used. I used one because I, I wanted to put my tree cuttings in it. And um, so everything I got from there has pretty much rooted except for these five here and these four here. So I'm. Um, um, experimenting. I put some uh, rooting solution <clears throat> right here, take root on those four. And on these, instead of having them just water, I put them in some of my liquid gold concoction to see if we couldn't get them to bud on out. Everything else, as you can see, has budded. Everything. So, if I can remember, there's gojo go 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 jo, whatever berry a pear a mulberry pears mulberry figs and it slips me the other way but it's the same i'd ordered mine in december half of it is my sister's um but i'm getting them started same thing that if you watch cog hill farm um, they ordered, they got, or I don't know if the Texas boy just gave them, but they've started all theirs. So these are all going to go in the fruit orchard and then, you know, whatever my sister wants, I'll let her have them. And hopefully by putting the rooting compound on this, these will go ahead and bud out and root. And hopefully the solution that these are in will give them a little boost. But, um... Yeah, everything's looking looking pretty daggum good. Everything up here that's planted um, budded. Not all of them have roots on them, but they have budded. So I'm hope, hoping um, they'll all do okay. This is um, this has been my experiment. They've all been in those two jars in water up in the trailer, and. Um, and just decided to bring them down here so now i've really got to make sure that the greenhouse um, stays warm so my trees stay alive and um yeah that's that project um kind of thrilled that um i've actually got them to at least bud and and a lot of them did root the ones that i i planted um but that's yeah that was the main project this morning and this pomegranate is just doing wonderful i probably need to come in and trim some of the branches on it but for now it's going to be in here later on when i i, I get a like a perennial garden going out there 
um, I may transplant it and then have other plants um, planted at the bottom of it. Got another pot ready for um, plants and got some more tomato pants and some more flowers that I separated, some little ones I separated out of the big pot. So that's kind of, I got, did get me a seed germinating mat, ordered that from Haas um, Tools um, and they were real good as far as efficiency. I think it took a couple of days for my whole order to get here and I got two bags of the premium starter um, seed starting mix, uh, one sack of the perlite, this mat, and then I keep all of my seeds. I have don't have one of the fancy boxes like uh, Clock Hill Farm does, but I uh, ordered um, a bunch of different seeds and I'll cover them on another day when I get ready to start them. Um, yeah, I got some uh, um, herbs this time because I really want to go start growing my own oregano to add to my chicken feed and stuff and some other herbs and um, I think some squash and stuff. But yeah, when I get ready to um, to um, start those, which will be in, hopefully in a few days, just kind of watching the weather, um, I'll make a video of that. But uh, it looks like my, that right there is a hollyhock. Looks like it's coming back. That's what's in, over here also and in one of those pots back there so um that's what we're doing today it's uh nice and warm i cleaned out most of the ash out of the trash barrel and got all the junk out of there cleaned it out um cleaned uh, the pens i do that I usually do that two times a day just keep it clean and um, I got to get me a pitchfork I told Brooke got to get me a pitchfork to make it a little bit easier this raking business is getting a little old but yep cleaned out the trash and um, just added it to compost um, and I got to move this compost pile too but since it has hay in it that's I don't really want to mix it in with my compost pile over there so I may just make another compost pile here um, trees are still being cut yesterday it rained so it's wet down here but he did come and um, I guess the big truck is having problems but he did come and unload it and load it on his trailer and he's taking that load so just wanted to um, let y'all know that we're still hanging around and working but yeah spent today mostly in the greenhouse and I do believe it's past lunchtime, but I haven't had lunch, so I think I'm going to go up there and eat something. I want to show y'all something real quick. That baby is in Sparkle's feed bucket. For some reason, he thinks that's his bed. He loves it. Loves it. I usually have to get him out of there so she can eat. But uh, they got both pens, and he's growing. So, anyway... That's what's happening today. If you like the content, come and give us a little thumbs up. My hands are really dirty today. I did have my gloves on, but took them off. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please think about coming over and subscribing and hit the notification bell so every time we upload a video, you'll be notified. And uh, y'all get out and get some, get some sun. What is it, vitamin E? Vitamin E, vitamin D. Vitamin C, whichever one it is, I think it's vitamin E. Go get y'all some sun. And y'all have a good one. And we shall talk to y'all later.